The Minister for Petroleum and Energy, Karanga Kua, has announced a power under the National Energy Authority Act 2021 and Essential Services Act 2022 to deliver a 30 days emergency due to the fuel supply saga between the Puma Energy and Bank of Papua New Guinea, which came to effect on July 31st, 2023 and lapsed recently. Kua said following the declaration, a number of roundtable consultation was discussed as to how to deal with the supply of foreign exchange and fuel supply in the country. Firstly, as you will recall, on the uh, 31st of July, uh, on the advice of the National Security Council and the National Executive Council, we, I announced um, a state of emergency under the provisions of the National Energy Authority Act and under the provision of the Essential Services Act. Uh, those legislations enable the state through the minister uh, responsible for those legislations to declare an emergency in the situation of a fuel shortage and a crisis that should follow. And that was what happened in uh, December of 2022 and January and July of 2023, where there was a, a fuel shortage and especially um, refusal by Puma Energy, refusal or inability of Puma Energy to supply jet fuel to our aircrafts. He said the discussion involved two important outcomes, which resulted in good progress where short-term outcomes were achieved. A series of consultations, we've managed to do two things. Number one is uh, maintain the interim supply of fuel. That's the end objective. Maintain the interim supply of jet fuel and general fuel as well. And, and that we've been able to do successfully, and I'm thankful, thankful for that, and uh, express my gratitude to all the stakeholders who've come in to the roundtable and supported our dialogue and our efforts. Uh, secondly, we've, we have also had to, uh, we've also been able to, uh, with the cooperation of the Bank of Papua New Guinea, maintain an appropriate level of supply of foreign exchange to the licensed banks, Bank of Papua New Guinea to the licensed banks, and from the licensed banks to their customers like Puma Energy. Uh, through that, Puma has been able to access some foreign exchange to maintain the fuel supply. Kua thanked the stakeholders in the supply of fuel and foreign exchange for working collaboratively to ensure the fuel saga was dealt with and fuel supply, including foreign exchange, was restored.